All right, uh, let's look at this uh, quick demonstration of uh, left sum, right sum, and the midpoint rule on GeoGebra. All right, so I have uh, GeoGebra Classic 5 open. All right, let's say we want to approximate some uh, definite integral. All right, so I'm going to define f of x to be uh, x squared uh, plus x plus 1, uh, something like that. Then the integral goes from, say, 1 to 3. So I'm going to set A to be 1 and then B to be 3. All right? Then I'm going to go ahead and evaluate the integral since uh, GeoGebra can evaluate definite integral. So I'm going to call that value A. Then we have an integral. And the function is F. Uh, starting value is A. Ending value is B. All right? Then hit enter. All right, so this is the actual value. Um, I'm going to change the uh, rounding a little bit so that, that we can see more decimal places. All right, so we have that. And as you can see, the GeoGebra automatically uh, sketched a, a draw the picture for us. All right, so I'm going to just uh, rescale this a little bit so that uh, we can see uh, the whole region. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, rescale it down, maybe stretch a little bit more. All right, so let's uh, so we have that. And actually, um, I'm going to just uh, uh, turn off the uh, label there, right? So we don't have to see that. All right, then uh, next thing is I'm going to um, uh, create a slider for the number of uh, rectangles. So I'm going to call this guy n. Um, then it's going to be an integer. And uh, 30 is fine, so we have that, All right? So we have a slider uh, for n. And I'm going to define delta x, right? So I'm going to do a delta x um, at x is equal to, right? Remember that the definition of delta x is the b minus a over n. So hit enter. So we have that. All right, then uh, we are ready to do a left sum, right? So luckily, uh, GeoGebra has an explicit command for left sum, so I'm going to use that. Uh, I'm going to call it L sub N is equal to uh, left sum is the command, right? Function is F, and starting value is A, and ending value is B, and number of rectangles uh, is N, and hit enter, right? So uh, again, I'm going to just... Uh, I'll turn off the label here. All right, so we have uh, by changing the, um, the the number of rectangles, three rectangles, three, four, five, and so on. So you can see that uh, it's uh, doing the uh, left sum, and uh, it works beautifully here. All right, but unfortunately, uh, when it comes to um, a right sum, uh, GeoGebra does not seem to have an explicit command for it. So we have to do a little bit of trick, right? So I'm going to trick GeoGebra, uh, thinking that it's doing the left endpoint, but it's actually doing the right endpoint. So here's the way to do it, right? So I'm going to say R sub N is equal to. So I'm going to use still use the left sum command. It's a little bit weird, right? But here's what I'm going to do. So I, instead of just using f i'm going to do a little bit of shifting so instead of f of x i'm going to do f of x then i'm going to add delta x to it so you have uh, so delta uh, delta x so all right so you can see that the x by itself is the left uh, endpoint but if you add delta x this becomes the right endpoint right then we can do everything else exactly the same. Uh, starting value is A, ending value is B, number of rectangles it would be N. Then hit enter. Right. So I'm going to turn off the uh, left sum for now. Right. So you can see that uh, we have the right sum here. Right. You, we're using the right endpoint. Right. So it works now. Right. And as you can guess. Uh, we can do basically exactly the same thing to the midpoint, except uh, instead of shifting uh, entire delta x, we're going to shift the half of delta x. Right? So uh, let's do that. 
but we're going to call it uh, midpoint rule. So m sub n is equal to, again, we're going to use the left sum command. Right? Then you have f of x plus right, uh, delta x, uh, delta x over 2. So half of delta x shifted. Then everything else stays the same. Starting value is A, ending value is B, number of rectangles is M. And then hit enter. All right? So I'm going to just actually, I'm going to um, turn off the label there and then turn off the label there. All right? So and turn off the right sum. All right? So you can see that the here, um, this is definitely doing the midpoint rule. Right? And you can compare the values. Uh, this is the left sum, right sum, and midpoint. And looks like uh, since it's an increasing function uh, there, uh, left sum is always going to be the uh, underestimate. And then right sum is going to be an overestimate. And the midpoint rule seems to be the closest uh, among the three, uh, in this particular case anyway. So you can see that uh, here, this is the midpoint rule. Right, and if you want to do a right min point, a right a right sum, then you have a right sum here, and uh, you can do a uh, left sum, which it, which was the easiest uh, of the three because we don't need uh, any tricks. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.